The showdown is not meant to cause offense or harm. The viewer acknowledges any reliance on the accuracy or completeness of said content should be done at their own discretion. The host apologizes in advance for any affront as a result of personal attacks. I haven't heard that music in a while. The showdown is back and leading off. Rob Parker joins us once again. Rob, it's good to have you back on the show. Thanks for coming back on. Absolutely, BK. Looking forward to the 2024 season. You know, beating you up a little bit. I'm ready. <laughs> I, I hate to say, like, you were right about a bunch of things last year. We don't have to go into detail. I'll just give you credit now. Okay, let's start with this. Strange way to open the season. I, I, you know, we we're just getting used to Otani and this, you know, magnificent Dodgers circus. And now this. Give me your take. Yeah, it's the timing couldn't be worse, and it's a distraction. Takes away from opening day. That's not the news you want to have. The Dodgers are supposed to be the Beatles this year. You know, like uh, crowds everywhere. Go look. Right. They're selling out every place that the Dodgers are showing up. And then we get sidetracked with this, and it's the last thing baseball wants, which is some betting scandal. Um, I, I'll say this, too, and I said it before. Like, you, you and I have been around a long time now. Baseball is bigger than one person. Like, if I keep hearing, like, oh, Otani, no one wants to – like, look, they're investigating. They're going to find out what they find out. And we, we've seen through the years – now, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't happen, but we've seen. Baseball is bigger than one person. Absolutely. Just go to Pete Rose. Do you think baseball didn't want its all-time hits leader to not be in the Hall of Fame? I mean, that, that was a disaster. Pete didn't handle it right. He right. would probably be in the Hall of Fame if he owned up to it. And baseball had no choice but to but to ban him from being in the Hall of Fame. It's not something that ba the game wants. Right. Um, and I bring up all the time, Pete Rose was an American hero. You know, was was a huge, huge star at the time, an icon. Um, I, I'm looking, too, at the Dodgers. I just brought this up with Mad Dog before, that, look, weird things can happen in the season. The Dodgers are averaging, Rob, 107 wins a year. They're, they're a machine. And yet, could weird things happen this year where it doesn't unfold for them the way they think? Absolutely. In baseball, you already know the best team doesn't always win, and that's the problem. The Dodgers have been great for the last 10 or 12 years. Yep. They got one championship to show for it. We've seen them wilt last year. They didn't even lead in the series against the D-backs, if you remember. Not even once in one inning did they have a lead, and they, they won over 100 games. They have the better roster playing a team that won 84 games, and it was a mismatch in favor of the D-backs. So it ain't guaranteed that the Dodgers are going to win the World Series. Well, never guaranteed, but again, you can't control that. But I'm saying even their usual 105 to 111 wins, maybe, you know, look, Padres are a cautionary tale last year. Mets, Cardinals, all, like, just did not have it last year. Can unfold differently. I, I would not predict that. Would you predict that, or are you thinking 100 wins still happens? No, they'll win 100 wins. Okay. I, yeah. I, it, it'll be hard, BK, for them not to with that lineup. It would, I just can't believe over a stretch of 162 games. And I know you're right, because the Mets got off to a bad start, struggled. The Padres never really got – they had a terrible start and never got it together and was a total disappointment. I would be stunned with Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, yep. and uh, Shohei Otani not, not doing what they're supposed to over the course of a long season. Now, you have a hot take on Dave Roberts. Give it to me. This is going to be his last season as Dodger manager if they don't win the World Series. Not get to the World Series, none of that. The Dodgers have been disappointing in the postseason True. under Dave Roberts. There's no other way to write that. The last two years, 100 wins or more each of the last two years. They have nothing to show for it. They went out and got the best player on the planet. If this doesn't work out, and they also spent $325 million on a star pitcher, uh, Yamamoto, uh, who got blasted in his first start, but yeah. that's okay. These things need to work. The Dodgers need to win a World Series, not get to the NLCS, not lose in the World Series, not make the playoffs. It's about winning a championship. Rob, if, they, if, if the Dodgers get to the series and lose in six or seven, I don't think Dave Roberts is gone then. I mean, I, I, I'm i kind of with you at a certain if, if they have another first round exit, like they play their opening series and boom, they're gone. Well, I'm with you. But they get to the World Series? No. You can't blame, blame the manager on that unless something cataclysmic is done by him. 
Well, I, I just think that at some point, it, he's been there a long time, and they've won a ton of games. Yeah. Maybe he can't get you. I know they won in 2020, uh, but at some point, you got to look at it and say, why can't we win when we have the best team on paper and the best team on the field? Yeah, but you could say, it, it, happens, it happened. The Braves were the best team on the field last year. They, they lost, right? Best team loses most years. We have expanded playoffs. It happens. All right. Now you have another hot take. On last year's World Series teams, this is nonsense. Come on. Diamondbacks and Rangers, you're saying what? Will not N-O-T make the playoffs. Neither one will make the playoffs. Not even make the playoffs. Not even make the playoffs. And, and you know, the Rangers, I get they, they uh, Scherzer's hurt. Uh, they lost Montgomery. Like, don't act like it's the same team. that They won 11 straight road games uh, last year. Everything worked out for them. It ain't going to happen. I've seen baseball too often. And, and they'll be good, but they're, they're not going to make the playoffs. And we've seen this with Bruce Bochy teams. The last two Giants teams that he won the World Series with <laughs> didn't make the playoffs the next year. You're so funny. You always talked about Bochy last year. I was the magic, and he's the reason they win. And now it's the reason they won't win. You're the best. You're the, you're... Now, all right, let me give you something. That may, Rangers, maybe, because they're in a very tough division. The Diamondbacks had a good offseason, Rob. I mean, they got better. They were young. They play defense. They run well. And the National League is a lot easier. The Diamondbacks should make the playoffs, I'm thinking, rather easily. Not at all. I think the Giants, with their rotation, with the addition of uh, Blake Snell, uh, who didn't make the they playoffs, got better. And, and, but there's six and spots. The Padres will there's be six. better. So yeah, those are those are two teams right there that are going to be better. And I believe that they're going to knock uh, the Diamondbacks out. And remember, that team last year was held together uh, with uh, tape, glue, and some ice creams. <laughs> <laughs> and they're a year older, I think too. But I tell you what. Um, you're out of the gate pretty strong. You're not completely crazy on these things. All right, Rob, good having you back. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you, my friend. Always, BK. Thank you. Have a great day.